How's it going guys and welcome back to Main Assembly. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at some of my most recent builds like this one right here. This here is called the Wrathchild. As you can see giant back wheel, small front wheel. We got some big pipes running up the side. We got some vents on the side. Real narrow looking. We got a funky grill in the front. We got some lights. L activates those lights. As you can see, we got lots of cool lights in the front. We got some cool fins sticking off the front there for aerodynamics. And of course, we got some lights in the back as well. So this was a very fun build. This was actually inspired by uh, the design of the Rocket League cars. So I thought, hey, you know what? That'd be pretty cool. So spacebar activates our thrust and also gives us some uh, trail makers out our exhaust pipes here. Oh, let's not go in the drink. So as you can see, that's just spacebar. You can push W as well, WASD for steering. It's got a couple of small thrusters in the front to help with the steering. Because that always helps when you can actually turn, especially at high speed. So spacebar and forward. Let's not go in the lake. Let's not go in the lake. But here's a little something something for you. The little thrusters work underwater. So if you want to add some more speed to your sub there, Scrap Man, you can just add a couple of small thrusters and they'll work underwater. Good for steering too. We got the Wrathchild. It should be available on the Steam Workshop for main assembly. really fun to build I'm trying to make as hot rod of looking uh, here we go in the rhubarb again in the swamp we're in the swamp man but you know what I can use my little mini thrusters there for steering and I can get myself out the swamp yeah here we go that's what I'm talking about and then punch it so yeah the trail makers were kind of cool on there give it, trying to give it like exhaust out those pipes be cool if we had maybe some flames or something that we can throw out there. Look at that, we can almost fly, eh? Wrathchild. And... Ooh, a couple of pieces with a nice slow-mo bounce. Roll upside down. Nice finish. Nice landing. Perfect. Just perfect. So yeah, that's the rat child. That was really fun. That took me a little while. And I think that building anything in this game takes a while. So let's see what else we got for you. So the next build we're going to be taking a look at here. This is called the Devil's Speedboat. You can probably see why. It looks a little uh, devilish. Little horns in the back there. Nice and sleek. Red. Kind of looks a little evil, so we'll jump in. You can see two floaters there on either side. Those pontoons, those are the small ones, I believe. We have a single propeller in the back, operated by the space bar. And we have that propeller on a rotating servo. So we can use that for our steering. Like this. You can see we have a speedometer down in the corner there as well. We're doing like 140, 150. And sometimes after turning, it'll lift itself out of the water. You can get up over just over 200. You can see, that he's just loving that ride. Yeah. So nice, narrow, tapered frame in between a couple of them pontoons. You don't have a lot of steering when you're not actually moving forward. It's the only downside with using your propeller for the steering, but it actually seems to work pretty well. And once you let go, it just give her, you know, pulls itself up out of the water a little bit and then settles down. But it's pretty drivable, pretty steerable. That was a pretty cool design for a small boat, speed boat. You can see the glass material over top of the uh, cockpit. Semi-translucent, barely visible. But yeah, that's just using a 
servo on the back here and then a motor connected to a single, I believe that's a medium propeller. And that's where we get our thrust for the Devil's Speedboat. The next thing I'm going to attempt to build in main assembly, of course, is going to be a submarine. I'm sure you watched Scrap Man, he built one recently. It looked fun, so I think I'm going to try that too. I think I, I think I could do that. But I think I'm going to try to implore some kind of uh, steering or propulsion in this sense using a single propeller, or two at the most maybe, on actual swivels themselves. And some of them small thrusters so I can zip zip on a wall. Yeah, boy. Yeah, that's a pretty cool boat design for something that small. And using only one engine and one propeller zips along pretty good. All right, let's see what else we got for you. All right, so the next build we're going to be taking a look at. What does this remind you of? La bicyclette de light, huh? It's a light cycle, of course. Don't be ridiculous, huh? See, we got a nice stream there behind it. Now, when you notice I'm going straight, right? Because as soon as we turn... Oh, it's so hard to get the two wheels. Oh, now we're going sideways very fast. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Don't, oh, no, oh, no. Saddle that home. Uh, there we go, come on, come on, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out, there we go, turn the thrusters off, let's see if I can get it almost to stay like straight, and then when I want it to turn, the thruster actually turns itself, and then the whole thing wants to lean, is that the wall coming up on us, that white fog bank seems to be getting mighty close, mighty fast, let's try and turn this way, oh yeah, we can lean that way, no problemo, no problem. It's concerned this way. It's not even a problem. It's all the way time to the right. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Stand up. No. No. Yeah. Into the corner. Come on. Get a grip. Get a grip. No. Fine. Rebuild it into the world. So, yeah. I had a request to try and build a light cycle in here. So, this is basically my version of the light cycle. But uh, again, first experimental two-wheel vehicle in main assembly. So the turning is the trough part. See, you can see the thruster turning in there. I've got a thruster on a servo. So if I can get it turning a bit, it uh, it will turn. But then it again wants to just veer off sideways all of a sudden. I know there's got to be a way of using programming to try and make an actual light cycle that stays stable and can turn at the same angles like in the movie, right? Where you can turn at like a 90. Oh, oh, oh. See, at least with this one's got wide enough tires on it that I can somewhat... Oh, sometimes I'm going to get it back up on its wheels and it'll stay upright simply because of the centrifugal force and the flatness of the wheels. I've got weight in the bottom. Maybe I need to add more weight. Just go into our catalog. And we want Mr. Delaneous weights uh, 10 pound a 25 let's do a 25 I'm gonna go big or go home let's try that we got brake lights too okay so oh, turn it turn it turn it turn it yeah um, I'm not seeing a big difference in the performance of the falling over side so again maybe in the next iteration of it, I'll uh, build some room in there for some RCS thrusters or some self-stabilizing. I haven't tried building a gyroscope in main assembly yet, which could be interesting. I'm not sure if it has the same physics effects as, uh, as Trailmakers, but it'd be interesting to find out. So yeah, that's the light cycle. That was fun to build as well. Good ex experiment with the, uh, the new building system and building things that are not mirrored. It's always a tough thing in this uh, with new building systems. You can see the horns sticking out there. You have some lights as well that are on there, some blue lights in the vents there. 
So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know which one was your favorite. Give me some suggestions of other stuff to build. Or try and build. And uh, I'll see what I can do. Definitely working on a submarine. If you like what you see here, check out this other stuff on the end screen here. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.